friends welcome to world of braiding and today we've got something exciting for you my name is joy fino and welcome on board so what it is we're going to show you an exciting hairstyle that's really currently in vogue at the moment my daughter loves it she said to mention it anyway it's bohemian goddess box braids um, but what's exciting about it is the colors that we're using. So we're using platinum blonde hair with the wavy hair here to also complement it. And of course, it's the bundle of joy range where we got our ready to braid hairs as usual for you. Whatever color you're looking for, we have them in stock. So feel free to order yours. We'll put details in the link below but let's get on with this now it's our client's hair is equally very light color so this is 613 and she's about 27 613 ish so we decided to go with the color just to jazz this up um and you know how i personally just love lots of colors so that's why we decided to introduce the colorful one just for you to see how exciting this could be so again you you just braid your hair in as normal as you would um you pick as much um quantity of hair extensions as you would like to and then of course the hair goes in as it's going in it just goes down and you let go of the other side braid it down braid it down and then bring that in and braid it down sorry you let go of that one and you carry on with your braiding and once you've gone like two three steps you let go of the other one So that's your messy wavy hair gone in and as you've gone in a little bit more you introduce your tips. So the tips comes in which is the one you're going to finish the braid with and as you braid it I prefer to let it go and braid it back in straight into the finger and now it goes together with your extension. Now you decide how long you want the hair to be as well. Um, because it's a training head, we didn't make this, we didn't go for the really long length. And then you braid it all in. And then stop at some point. So you braid it all the way to the tips. And as your regular extensions finishing, then you knot it. But again, be careful with your wavy hair. Because they are the reason it's called messy because um, they kind of get, especially when the color is a bit, when it's not regular black, they're a bit dry, so they go really messy. And so that's the one we've dropped at the tips, and then this goes over it. So that's your braid. Uh, this is a bit, um, I'm sitting well here, but the next strand will be better. And that's it. So generally you decide the type of sections you want to create. Um, here we're just going with the squares. So hair goes in, braided, and then you introduce your wavy hair. Now what I'm going to do, I'll show you how I separate the wavy hair. 
because they really do get really matted especially when they are co colored if you don't get it right so that's gone in and that one's held down and as one side has gone down well you let go of the other side then you carry on with your braids and once they've gone in well you introduce the one that's going to finish the tapes So you see how the colors blending really well because um, they are closely matched. But if they were not, you can always try and push it really in so it blends in well. So you just keep braiding until you get to the tips. And then you knot it off. So when you're separating this hair, be very careful because you could get them all tangled up. So once it's knotted, you hold the bit that you're going you use the knotting, and then you separate it into two and you knot it in again. A few times if you want to, just so it doesn't unravel. And then you release the messy parts that you added in. And that's it. And that's the tips. Look at how pretty that is. So, you know, color does work. It's, um, it's so much fun to try and play with colors. Because for me, I, I, I try to introduce interesting colors into braiding it shouldn't always be just plain black and so I'm going to carry on with this but what I want to show you quickly is how I prepare how I prepare the wavy hair in particular ready for braiding so look at the way they come they could look a bit rough if you want to be able to take strands out you spray it with water first just a hint of water and once water has gone in you pull your hand through see how that becomes so easy because now you can see the strand separating and now you can take away what you want they now easily let go Again, make sure your hand goes to the tip so that you can just take the strands out. And you do the same thing on the other side. So, hands in the tip, and then unravel it slowly, and then you take your hair out. And that's how easy it is. So, if you don't do it right, what may happen is you end up losing a lot of this hair. Which you don't want to lose because sometimes if you get this hair, there may just be a few in the shop. You don't want to get it wrong. But of course, if you get it off us, you may be just the number of packs you want and that's it. Then you could lose your style if you don't get it right. So that's how easy it is. Okay, so you can see how far we've gone. This is so pretty. You know, when you just have the idea to try something and it comes out perfectly okay, this is what's happening here. I'm really enjoying this color, especially in the Bohemian uh, Messy Goddess braids. It looks really pretty. 
So that's what we're encouraging our clients to do and you hair stylist start being adventurous with colors just encourage your clients and bring some uniqueness to your work it's really pretty So what we've done, we've just stayed with the squares. You can see the see the braids in it and see the gorgeous. Okay guys, so you can see what we've done, we've done all the back, how pretty it is, and we decided to just finish it off with cornrow instead of just carrying on with the head of braids. So all the back is done, really beautiful. It's the type of hair Beyonce will wear. <laughs> Very pretty. So we're finishing it off with cornrows again to give you creative ideas of what you could do with them so typical our way of doing cornrows we just enjoy the Ghana cornrow and so if you're new to this channel with Ghana cornrow this is you you get your first trance in hold it firmly down and then you start adding your extra hair remember we're gonna conroll you decide how many strands you want to put in and in this case we're putting just four strands Again, the size you put in is up to you. You don't, no one holds you down to anything. And once that's gone in, then you finish off your cornrows. So what I did, I didn't put too much hair in. If I want it really full, I'll put heavier strands in. So at the end of this, I'll add the final one that I want to use in finishing the strand of braid. And just like I put the messy bohemian hair in, I just put it in and braid with the rest. So at this stage, I then bring my curly wavy hair in and add it in there. Exactly like we were doing before. And then finish the tips with the really small strands. And that's it. So we're going to carry on with the cornrow and then you see the finished look. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. I'm just giving her like a really 
slanted look to create this kind of like really clustered at the forehead design on this cornrow so the trick to that is when you're doing the very first strand you really angle your hand really way up as close to the forehead as possible so that goes down and then curves out and then the next one starts to slant and that's it so this is me starting a new one on this side so straight line across hand slanted really high up as far as you can go taking consideration for the forehead and then you start to slant your hand down and remember this part so she's got quite a bit of hair on the side and you turn your hand in and then bring it back out so you get like a curved look right here see that and then it comes out so now you're ready to create your slanted cornrow okay guys so you can now see the finished look is finishing here now um so the idea is to be as creative as you can be um we decided to just finish it off with a cornrow um just to let you know that you can either go all the way box brace down or add some design cornrows to it it's all about creativity and you can see how beautiful this color has turned out so you're gonna be seeing more colors from us because we absolutely love colors you just bring something different to the hair okay so you can see what's going on now um usually when you get to the end especially with cornrow depending on how much braids you want in it you can always add more normal hair more normal length of hair and finish off your braids see that the same way i added the curly hair or messy braids into it is the same way i can add extra hair so now i'm bringing the main hair which is the messy part of it so that comes in and i drop it and i take it away put that in carry on with my braids then drop off the other strand then finish my braids So you can see how much more plaits I can have. But with Conro, remember it's going on a distance. So if you don't add extra hair, you will not have much hair in. Um, it's not like it's straight from the beginning to the end, just like with regular braids. But these are all things you can add more to your knowledge as you go along. Okay, this is the one I finish off with. Okay, so remember, this is where all our knowledge is. We have 30 DVDs in this pack. We'll show you all the time. 30 that's got so much skills, just as the one we've done here. Please remember to order them. It will help change your skill. It will add so much more to your skill. Just look in the link below, we'll connect you to our website where you can order it. People always ask me, where is it, where is it? Just look in the link and it's there. So this is you finishing off your strand. Just like um, we've done before. And then you're going to knot it off. Remember the tricks we looked at when looking at the wavy hair spray a bit of water to detangle it before you can actually braid with it otherwise you may lose a lot of hair a lot of hair will be lost if you don't do that so we knot it and push it back push it back and can you see how beautiful this is So now 
I'll show you our model. There she is. So again, you could create whatever unique hairstyle you want in front, if that was the plan. And then she can walk around with her messy braids in between, goddess braids, boho, boho braids, <laughs> bohemian braids, whatever you want to call it. And they're coming all, you know, all types of names. But look at how glamorous this is extremely glamorous this is what comes with color so creativity is all down to you whatever you think you want to put here is fine or just full head of braids so thank you so much for watching we absolutely appreciate your views um any comments just feel free to feel free to send us your messages or questions this was the the wavy hair was just one and a one and a quarter pack that we used remember you use as much as you want and then the other hair was just one bag so thank you for watching i will look forward to seeing you in the next video remember to follow us on all our media and remember to like it and share it with your friends thank you and god bless you